Welcome to day 121 of our school year. We have 59 school days left. Let's go ahead and get down our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days. We are on day 121. Okay, now let's go ahead and find the factors of our numerator, which is 121. Two factors we always know are one and the number itself. Using the commutative property of multiplication, I can write it as 121 times 1. Now we're going to go through our divisibility rules, and we're going to go in order so we don't miss any. So after 1, we try 2. The rule for 2 is that it ends in an even number. 1 is odd, so 2 is not a factor. And if 2 is not a factor, no even number will be. So we just need to try our odd numbers. The rule for 3 is that we add the digits together. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. 4 is not a multiple of 3, so 3 is not a factor. We try 5. The rule for 5 is that it ends in a 0 or 5. It ends in a 1, so 5 is not a factor. We try 7. 7 times 10 is 70. 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 112, 119, 126. 121 is not in that list, so 7 is not a factor. We try 9. 9 has the same rule as 3. We add the digits together and get 4. 4 is not a multiple of 9, so 9 is not a factor. We try 11. 11 times 10 is 110, then 121. Hmm. 11 is a factor. 11 times 11. So that means this is a perfect square. There are no numbers between 11 and 11, so we are done. Our factors are 1, 11, and 121. Now we only have three factors, but that is still more than two factors, so it is composite. And we need to figure out our greatest common factor. Well, we only have 59 school days left, so I can't make another group of 121. So let's try our groups of 11. Your groups do not have to look like mine, but make sure you have 11 in each, and that you keep your shaded separated from your unshaded because otherwise we have fractions inside fractions, and that just makes it more challenging than it needs to be. Okay. So here I have 6 plus 5 is 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. 4 plus 7 is 11. 3 plus 8 is 11, 9 plus 2, 1 plus 10, 10 plus 1, 2 plus 9, sorry, 8 plus 3, 7 plus 4, 6 plus 5, 5 plus 6, and I have 4 left over. So 11 is not our greatest common factor. That means we are left with 1. 1 is our greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and make groups of 1. Done. How many total groups of 1 do we have? We have 180. How many are shaded in? 121. So we've done our division with our model. Let's go ahead and use our algorithm to prove it in a different way. So we're dividing 180 into groups of 1 and 121 into groups of 1. 100 times 1 is 100. Numbers the same, zero is the same. We're on top, no need to stop. 80 times 1 is 80. Numbers the same. 0 is the game. Add our partial quotients together. 
100 plus 80 is 180. 100 times 1 is 100. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. 20 times 1 is 20. More on top, no need to stop. Number the same, zeros again. 1 times 1 is 1. Number the same, zeros again. Add our partial quotients together. I get 121. Let's go ahead and check. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since our remainder is zero for both, and our identity property of addition says when you add zero, it stays the same, we don't need to take time to actually add the zero. One group of zero is zero. One group of eight tens is eight tens. One group of 100 is 100. One group of one is one. One group of two tens is two tens. One group of 100 is 100. 121, that matches our dividend, check. 180, that matches our dividend, check. So our numerator is definitely 121, and our denominator is definitely 180. Let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. We are on trimester two still, week 13. Today is three. 5, 2020, and our fraction for today, 121 out of 180. Okay, 121 and 180, the greatest common factor was 1, so we did groups of 1. That means you don't have to get your number line out. But I like to show you it's right here on the number line, and that there's no lines lined up underneath it because there's no equivalent fraction in lower terms. This is our simplest form. All right, let's go ahead and erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.